What's the real reason I moved to California? Everyone in Ohio already knew this about me. It was something I couldn't escape. Recently, I have been seen publicly wearing clothes with the Illuminati symbol on them. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today I am going to be reacting to conspiracy theories about myself. I'm so excited for this video. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Some of these are surprisingly really believable, like it's kind of scary, and other ones are just really out there, but I thought I would still include them. I actually have so many theories that I'm not going to be able to include them all in this video so if you guys want me to make a series out of this and do a part two be sure to let me know in the comments down below so without further ado let's just get into these conspiracies the first conspiracy states that I actually make all these conspiracy theories about other people because I want to distract the general public from what's really going on which is the truth in myself that I have something to hide that there is actually a conspiracy theory about me hence why I make conspiracy theories on so many other youtubers I've done three different compilation videos on youtuber conspiracy theories I did one on that poppy I've also done one on other social media people like the catch me outside girl maybe I'm doing all of that to throw you guys off from the person who really deserves to have a conspiracy theory video made about her because she's hiding a big secret. Diving even deeper into this conspiracy theory, some people speculate that I may even be part of the Illuminati, that Shane Dawson recruited me into the Illuminati. If you don't know, I did a video recently with Shane on his channel and Shane is the king of conspiracy theories. I'm going to call up the girl who made the video on Skype and she is going to tell us what the theory is. Okay, so Allie, you have a conspiracy about me. I have not heard it yet. Recently, there's been a lot of speculations that he is associated with the Illuminati and that's why he makes all these types of videos. Therefore, it would make a lot of sense if I was a part of the Illuminati with Shane considering I've been putting out so many conspiracy theory videos since working with him in that video and also just basically around this time in general, I didn't used to do conspiracy theories on my channel. Why am I starting to make them now? The reason why I followed Shane and joined the Illuminati was because Shane and the other leaders promised me more success and fame here on YouTube. After after collabing with Shane, my numbers did grow and I surpassed 100,000 subscribers. Maybe this is just the beginning. Maybe this is all part of the plan. If you look at my Twitter handle, AllieHardesty96, 9 plus 6 equals 15, which is a prime number associated with the Illuminati, much like Taylor Swift's number 13. I've even been seen publicly wearing shirts that represent the Illuminati in videos as well as you now broadcast. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and I'm back with another paranormal video. Basically, thank you for feeling guys. Thank you so much. What it's looking like is... In fact, if you go way back on my channel to one of my most viral videos confronting my ex with the other woman, you will see that the other woman, Angie, is seen wearing that same Illuminati tank top. Hey guys, it's Allie. I'm here with my friend Angie. Hi. And boy, do we have a story for you. <laughs> what is the reason for this? Maybe it's because I've been dropping hints all along. In that video, as well as many others, I've also been known to tell stories about my ex-boyfriends, much like Taylor Swift does in her song lyrics. Another piece of evidence to back up this theory would be that I was on a collab channel called Seven Days of Slay. Seven is again a prime number associated with the Illuminati. Slay could also be translated as killing. There's even been suggested hints dropped by other members of the collab channel back when we were still posting videos, such as Stepanka's introduction. Hey guys, and welcome to Seven Days of Slay, where every single day we murder somebody. Just kidding. Doesn't it sound like that though? Maybe I'm a part of the Illuminati. Maybe I have a secret in a conspiracy about myself I'm trying to hide that I'm gonna mention in this video. May or may not be true. You decide, leave a comment below letting me know what you think. This next theory is probably the one that I hear the most often and that is that I am actually 16 years old. There is surprisingly a ton of evidence to back up this theory. For one, going back to my Twitter name yet again, at AllieHardesty96, you can follow me if you want to. Nine plus six equals 15. I started my YouTube channel a year ago when I was 15. I am now 16 years old. That would make a lot of sense. Some other things to back this up would be the fact that I have a pretty kid-friendly or PG channel. I don't cuss on my channel. Maybe that's because I'm too young to really be cussing. Maybe that's because cussing isn't really considered appropriate for my age. To further back up this conspiracy theory, it's a pretty widely known fact that I'm not the world's best driver. For example, you guys have seen this for yourselves in Drive With Me videos. In my first Drive With Me video that I ever did, I nearly ran over a squirrel. Why well, I wrote the Yelp review and also what happened. <gasps> Ah! Ah! A squirrel! I almost just ran over a squirrel! Did I run it over? Oh my god, I think I just killed a squirrel! Oh my god, I'm so shook right now! Okay, it's still there! It's alive! It ran- oh my god, it ran out in front of me! There's been a lot of near-death experiences or incidents like this. Yeah! That was not even my fault! Ah! 
for example, when I was first starting my channel, there was a vlog where I was pulled over by a police officer for speeding. I just got pulled over for the first time in my entire life. I got a speeding ticket. He wrote me for going like 80 in a 70 or something. If I was really 20 years old, don't you think that I would know the speed limit and I would be more aware of my surroundings and I wouldn't have nearly ran over a squirrel? In the state of California, you can get your license at 16 years old. So maybe, going back to my Twitter at name, I was 15 when I started my channel. I am now 16 years old, therefore I just got my license. And that is the reason why I just started doing these drive with me videos so recently. Also to further back this up, at the start of my channel, I had a story time titled, I Almost Died, where basically my friend was driving my car home from a rave. Why would I let my friend drive my car? Maybe that's because I didn't have my license at the time. Sounds pretty believable. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This next theory is pretty far-fetched, but also makes a lot of sense, and that is, What's the real reason I moved to California? A lot of you may say that it was for college, but considering I'm 16 years old, that couldn't possibly be the case. So we've already established that. What if that's because I didn't really want you guys to know the real reason because you would no longer watch me. I may come off as sweet and innocent in my videos, but truth is I'm actually deranged. I have a disorder. I have been obsessed with alligators since I was a child. I can't get them out of my head. I read, I think, I speak, I see alligator everywhere that I go. In fact, I've had this obsession to the point where I truly believe I am one. And this is the reason why I say, hey alligators in all of my videos. I think that I am actually talking to real life alligators through YouTube. I think that everyone who watches YouTube is a community of alligators and this is my way to interact with them. My parents always wanted me to live a normal life. That's why they work so hard to help find a cure. And although I'm not cured, I am on medication, which I think it's for ADD to help me focus, but reality is it's to help me think that I'm not an alligator. But I still call my subscribers my alligators because I still have this close connection with them because I'm still obsessed with the idea of alligators and I still think that I really, really like them. I just no longer think that I am one. This is also the reason why my parents were so strict growing up and why they wouldn't let me have sleepovers or they would take my phone at like 9 p.m. because at that point in the night, the medication would wear off and you would start to see who I really was deranged. Everyone in Ohio already knew this about me. It was something I couldn't escape because my senior year when I was living there, I was still getting right with my medication. So I still was in this state of thinking I was an alligator. People thought that I was a freak. I was outcasted there and there was just no possible way I was going to be able to escape my rough past of everyone knowing who I was. So that's why my parents sent me off to California to have a fresh start. It does make a lot of sense, especially considering the fact that I started my channel around the time that my medication would have been right in my System, moving here to California. I didn't have a channel when I lived in Ohio, so let me know in the comment section below. This conspiracy theory involves one of my friends and also Tana Mojo. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you may have seen my friend Sarah, who looks and sounds strangely like Tana Mojo, like they could be related. Hi, I'm Sarah. What's Sarah? Hey. Hey guys, does she not look like Tana Mojo? Does she not talk like Tana Mojo? I do sound like her now that I think about it. There's no <laughs> way. Like, I've said that in videos. I've said that they may be long lost twins, etc. I've always promised you guys that I would do some sort of story time or like video with her where she was repeating catchphrases that Tana says, but I never really got around to it. And maybe that's because I thought it would be too obvious and you guys would figure out the truth, which is that Sarah is in fact Tana's twin sister and she has helped me with a lot of my following. That's actually how I got in contact with Shane to do that collab video as well as met all the members of Trash. It wasn't really because I made friends with Natalia. It was because I was friends with Tana's twin sister. So I had connections that way. This is also the reason why I have a lot of the inside scoop when it comes to YouTuber conspiracy theories because Tana's twin sister has been spilling the tea. She has been around for a lot of things in Tana's life. Even though she's been behind the scenes and people don't really know that that's her twin sister, sister, she's seen a lot of things, so therefore she tells me what's really going on. She gives me the receipts and I provide them to you guys in my videos. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know that some of these were really crazy and out there, but I still found them entertaining and I think it's awesome that you guys are able to get creative and think of these sort of things. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications with that little bell thing right next to the subscribe button. Just hit that and that way you are notified. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you thumbs it up as well if you liked it, if you want me to continue on with this little series because this was seriously so much fun to film. Follow my social media. I have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouNow, etc. And if you want to be featured in my next 
reacting to conspiracy theories about myself video, make sure that you send me a message with your personal theories so I can include them next time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.